today from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It's the NFC Championship game. Super Bowl 52 and now back for the road to the Super Bowl here in the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Minnesota Vikings. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, 59 yards. And the Vikings have struck first in this NFC title game. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. They start the drive with Cook. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Again, it's Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Cook up the gut. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Swinging this out wide here for Cook, and he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And that is a historic run for him, partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. Now his name will be forever linked with the best runners ever play at that position. 
12 more yards there and another first down. A nice throw there. And this is a quarterback, you remember, looking to do what no other rookie has done, and that's lead his team into the Super Bowl. And now you've made me go back down memory lane a little bit because we have had a few guys come close. Think about Patrick Mahomes in 2018. Second year in the league, but his first as a full-time starter. I go back to 2000 with the Vikings and Dante Culpepper. Also his first year as a starter. But this would be something I think would be very noteworthy. Second and one. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook taking it in from a yard out. And the Vikings have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So the rushing touchdowns continue to stack up. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Middle of the field to Jefferson. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring up second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. Looking to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. They're going to look to throw. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll get that to Amir Smith-Marset. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Back to throw again. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. They'll look to throw again. Complete. Jefferson the target. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 43. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Now back to throw. Flush to his right. Another one on this play for Justin Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. That is caught by Thielen. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. 
They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll set up a throw. And his pass incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Being chased out left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Oh, look at the juke. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. zone now they'll look to throw and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down so they'll come up after the incompletion for second down they'll look to throw here that is caught inside the five and the Vikings are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two yard line A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Vikings would extend their lead here just before halftime. 
They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes. <laughs> They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And complete right side to Cook. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. He'll look to throw. The quick slant caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. No gain on the play there, and they're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Again, it's Cook. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. A great play there there to make the grab and the vikings decision to go for it pays off with six points well something about this team you just felt like they were one of destiny all season long and they made themselves today as you can see the class of the nfc yeah and it's starting to look more and more like a super bowl trip is very much in their future and the fans starting to book those tickets First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Sean Murphy Bunning got him down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. He'll drop to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers. They're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline. start on the ground here on first down and he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon they run again on first down cook and he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter one quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. On second down, Cook. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. The offense on third down, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll look to throw. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. 
A CD, they're up big, but they're still pounding. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. <laughs> time the right guard sending him backwards and so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now depending on situations you can get the bulky guy the fast guy no matter what though he can't hold them they'll get four on second down but it leaves them with third and still nine to go and they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first on third down he'll drop to throw And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. The last run got six. Now second and four. They run it again with Cook. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. A high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost made. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Up the middle, it's Cook. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. They'll run with Cook. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And now what the heck is this? A punt formation from the red zone? And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way. To the Vikings are going to the Super Bowl as we sign off here and say good night, everybody. And that'll close the books on the conference championship. For Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew, we'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.